What's up guys? Chaotic Dragon back again. Alright, so sorry about Monday guys. I know you're supposed to get a video then, but uh, unfortunately, well, let me turn this down here real quick because I can hear my own echo and it's driving me crazy. Uh, Monday I was supposed to give you guys another video, uh, but I had some family issues to deal with. Don't worry, you'll still get your three videos this week. Uh, I promise. I just had to uh, deal with some family issues, which is why for the past couple days you have missed some videos from me. So, alright, today's video is going to be a reply to the RJB0 slash Asian Eyes, because I feel like I'm going to critique both of these guys, so I might as well. Uh, what's happened here is the RJB0 has accused Asian Eyes of being a uh, sexist now I've watched both videos and from my perspective from what I can see here is neither of them are sexist uh, well neither of them are being sexist uh, but I also don't believe that Asian eyes is being sexist at all with this video what I feel like Asian eyes has done wrong in this video uh, is to point this out, Asian Eyes has just poorly worded some some of his word choices. That's all. He's not being a dick, and anything that he does that comes off as dickish has just been poor word choice. All right. Since, since here's the thing, you have to argue intent here. Asian Eyes did not intend to do anything wrong. All right, or even say anything wrong. He did this for the fun of the video. He does it. You got and you have to remember, he's a YouTuber. Uh, RJ, he's, at the end of the day, let's face it, he's, he's doing this for the entertainment value. I mean, look at this. He get, it gets views and subs. So if we go down right here, look, he's got 200 likes, 9,000 views. I mean, it gets views and subs. That's at the end of the day. And that's how you stay ahead in the game of being a YouTuber. Now, I know that probably doesn't mean much coming from a guy like me who's got like, what, three subscribers. But for the three of you that will be watching this, uh, at the end of the day, I mean, this is, this is what YouTube's about. It's about entertainment, and that's what Asian Eyes brings to the table. So, that's, you know, you, to accuse him of being sexist over this, I mean, come on. The guys even said he's going to do a Smasher Pass for guys. He probably will get with Vexicus or some other random female YouTuber, and they'll, he'll do another video. It's about views. It's not about sexism. And as far as sexism in Yu-Gi-Oh! goes, I mean... Uh, it's mostly a bunch of horny nerds. What'd you expect? I mean, let's face it. Like, I have a lady, so I don't have to worry about that. But still, at the end of the day, I mean, a bunch of single guys who are horny and haven't gotten laid, uh, making some bad decisions. Yeah, because the blood went to the wrong place. I'm not saying boys will be boys or anything bullshit like that. Because there is a level of respect that you should show any human being. But at the end of the day, we're going to argue intent here. All right, what Asian Eyes did isn't illegal or Im or Im maybe immoral to some people, like obviously to you, RJ. You're, you view Asian Eyes as being immoral. I understand that. And this video isn't to dog you at the end of the day. It's not to dog the RJ. I mean, he's entitled to his opinion, as we all are. Uh, but to say that what Asian Eyes is doing is a problem, I'm like, eh, I think you're going to stretch there, buddy. And personally... Uh, this is the only video I'm going to make on this subject because I prefer to keep politics out of my entertainment. If you want to talk politics, then uh, you should do a, vol a vlog video uh, or a vlog make a vlog channel and talk about politics there. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad idea. Politic videos do get views and you will get a few subs from your subscriber base, RJ, if you wish to do that. Uh... I know I follow you, and I probably will exact go exactly go look at that if you decide to do that. I'm just saying that, frankly, I disagree with you. And what Asian Eyes has said and is doing with this video, I mean, although it is kind of silly in my opinion, like Smasher Pass videos just, frankly, to me, are not interesting. But I watched this video, however boring it was, it was no offense to Asian Eyes, uh... And I don't see anything wrong with it. I think he, I think he just poorly worded a few things, like saying the whole like tranny thing. I was like, yeah, he should be a little more sensitive than that. You know, you shouldn't call somebody that. But 
I mean, he can say transgender. That would have been fine. He could have referred to them as an in-transition person or something along those lines. Uh, just He could have worded that line better. Uh, as far as the uh, objectification of these women, many of the, the things that he's saying are simple preferences. Some people do not like girls that are on the curvy side. And some guys only like girls that are like twigs. I mean, I've been accused of it because my girlfriend's a twig. You know, she's very thin, and that's nothing that she can change. That's just genetics, in her case. Just like some girls being curvy is not anything they can change. It's genetics. And, you know, there are preferences. People have different sexual preferences. At the end of the day, you cannot accuse someone of being evil or sexist over a preference, especially a non-violent one, if I might add that in there. As for what the people that say in his chat, you cannot blame Asian Eyes for that either. All he does is say, smash or pass on each of these girls, and as for the chat, he has no control over that. Okay? Another thing that I'd like to point out to you is, this is a big publicity stunt for these female YouTubers. Hello? He's got over 40k followers he's gonna use them <laughs> they're all gonna go check out half of these chicks and follow them too so their subscriber count goes up and maybe some of them that aren't making youtube videos start again they're i don't know like you like you rj this is just i'm just doing this in one take so if i throw out some point that you don't agree with that's cool it's fine i mean we're not all entitled to agree with each other uh but ultimately, all I'm saying is, you can only judge Asian Eyes for what he does. You cannot judge him for what his followers do. And sorry to break it to you, RJ, you got some shit-stained followers too. We all have them. Except, well, those of us that have larger audiences. <laughs> I can't claim for my three subscribers whether there's a shit stain among them or not. <laughs> I mean, maybe one out of the three might be. I don't know. <laughs> But, I mean, I'm just saying, and, I mean, my videos get views, they just don't get followers, which is fine. This is fine. It just, at the end of the day, RJ, this video, there's nothing wrong with this video other than the fact that, you know, if you judge it just as a video, that I find it boring. But that's my opinion, man. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's been my uh, response to the RJB0 and Asian Eyes. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. Uh, leave comments because I read them all. Uh, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! based content. And uh, check out my, the description for other places where you can follow me and other content you can follow me for. This is the Chaotic Dragon and I'm out.